First question first. First question, the intern's about to do Karen. First question. He's never done any girl name workouts, so he's gonna do some girl name workouts. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. First question. What's the question, sir? During my whole session? Yeah. Sure. Come along for the ride, everybody. Ten minutes, maybe. Did a little bit of couch stretching, a little self chiropractic adjustments on the old foam roller. Now open up the little shoulders. All the time. I'll usually couch stretch for a little bit, open up the front of my hip. Depending on like what's tight, I'll do more lower body or upper body stretching just to kind of like feel loose. If it's usually in a competition, we'll add in a little bit of voodoo flash just to get everything really feeling primed and ready but right now i'll probably warm up for 10 15 minutes and then just grab an empty barbell and start i used to warm up too long and then it, but then it just took too much energy and then i used to warm up too short and then now we found a happy medium whoops he's the intern he's a swimmer from auburn and he's doing karen he's never done any of the girl name workout so he's gonna test them up and karen just happens to be my favorite I've done Karen a lot. 150 wall balls for time. I've done them unbroken. I've done it unbroken with a 30. I've done it breaking up. Done a lot of them. Karen's a good one. Good test. I feel like maybe it just transitioned from my basketball days of always shooting a basketball, but I always kind of keep it on one side the whole time. I don't ever switch sides. And I don't really do like a big Two arm press, I just do almost like a shot, like I'm following through for some reason, and it seems to work. I mean, I think it helps when you actually are snatching. It makes everything else feel kind of lighter because usually you're doing heavier weight than what your max is, except. Hi. He's done. 452. This is all right. I wanted to see if I go unbroken, but I think after all the handstand push-ups and leg recoveries this morning, it's gonna be iffy. But I think I put the ball down first at 103, about 20 more, then finish it out. So two breaks, not long breaks, but I think I needed them to go fast enough. I guess the one time it goes like a basketball shot more. Yeah. I've never tried that. The one arm, I don't know, for 150, you get really tiring by the end of it. But I'm saying, did you slow down on purpose or you red ball? No, I mean, I think I, I didn't feel like I really fell off much until when I got back and then I was like, oh, okay. It's the coach. It's my coach, guys. It's my coach. Hey. The Max. We're talking about his running session. Afternoon. I don't remember, but he did one he did 800. I did some wickets. I did some high knees. I did some 800s. I did a mile with the hundreds you were sprinting. I did... All sorts of stuff. And now he's dancing. Dancing away. You ready? I'll show you. This is going to be 295. Don't do that at home, kids. Hi, that's my friend Andrew Hiller. We support each other. He's a very good guy. He's a nice guy. He called me out, then I apologized because, well, the judge was giving me the rep. So I thought I was doing it right. And those were my last three muscle ups of the 30. I think it's understandable that I was like not doing a great lockout at the end. I recognized my mistake. I wasn't aware of that. I appreciate uh, people giving me feedback. I really don't take that as a bad thing. That's a good thing that you only make me be better. So I'm happy. I mean, I, by my perspective, he took the time to video me. He's like, who does that? It's, it's a good guy. Hey, 
I sure did. Africa, baby. I don't even know what you would call what he plays. <laughs> just light, light heartbeat, just upbeat. Gets me feeling like. I used to listen to a lot more aggressive and then. Realized it wasn't necessary. Like my first three sets are probably a little faster and then towards the end they're probably like right at it and i also think it depends on what movement i'm doing if it's like back squats i can end where if it says two minutes i could easily take four when you're at like heavy percentage but this stuff it'll probably be close to two minutes or a little faster The old 300 number at one of the camp. We had a max snatch. I don't know when that was. A couple months ago, and just missed 302. But I think when the time's ready, we'll snatch more. I like them both. I think the tennis stadium was probably pretty awesome. But the Coliseum of when everybody feels like they're on top of you is cool, and it seems like it's louder in there. I like a, a mix. Like days like this are fun when it's just like put whatever music I want on. Cause I don't like always playing this when other people are in here. It's kind of nice when it's just yourself in here. But now leading up to the games, it's more fun having a group to do things with and really try to get that like extra 1% like in workouts just to get a little bit better. It's pretty cool to have a group here that's training and now that the team's officially in, like now having a bigger group that's getting ready for it. So a plus and minus of both of some days where it is by yourself, it's still you and then other days where you're getting pushed by others. Younger generation. Apparently there's a thing on Spotify called queuing where you can queue up the next song you want to have happen, which is great if you know what you're doing with it. I keep, I keep way too much stuff for here. So you just click that and then this little button right here? Now we're back to the good stuff. But what was just on? What's good? Thank you. jerk from behind the neck so I don't like to feel like the barbell when I go into overhead squat slips and when I bring the bar back down that's just an amateur mistake waiting to happen if I can you can no it just kind of varies on how tight I am we did a lot of muscle up and bench press Saturday and I can just feel my overhead feels a little tighter than usual because if not I might just go right into it but so yeah, you got to open up some things a little bit more no, I'm just <laughs> uh, clean, probably the longest I've like stuck with keeping it this way for a longer period of time. I feel like sometimes in the years past, it's been just more kind of like up and down leading up and not as track, but it, I'd probably say since quarterfinals stopped, I lost like 10 pounds and then have pretty much just dialed everything in now where I know every single thing I'm putting in my body and how much of it is. And I feel like I'm performing better now. Probably 225, 275. I usually don't, try not to on back squat till like over 365, 405. But some days, like during games training, you're just training so much, just just there, and it feels good sometimes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear it. I should have. No, you did. Oh. Got what? He he. The heck is he he? He <laughs> he. Oh. <laughs> That was a single he. The question was, could you he he? He he. 
<laughs> it was weak, though. Well, yeah, the working sets are from 295 to 335. So, overhead squat, I like to just get a little bit more warm for the position for your wrists, shoulders, elbows. Like, I could do this in 225, 75, 95, and be there in four sets, but sometimes I feel like right now, especially, you're just trying to quality reps, make them all stick, and not rush it, where sometimes you can rush and just get complacent. Three. <laughs> when he's out running through the field. Or the snow. Up the mountain. Yeah. And then the car starts chasing him and he ah! Ah! <laughs> God, such a great movie. Sometimes, but I always tell him it's safer just to drop from overhead and I'll help him clean it up. Because if you haven't practiced it and aren't comfortable, it just, I've seen people let it roll and then they try to hang on to it. Like, it takes practice. Yeah. I think they do this without like actually just coming down with the bar. It's not like I'm really even fighting the eccentric, it's just like dropping to my back. But as I do that, I'm like, softening it with my knees. Like this. Yeah, they go. And you're like, well, that looked like it hurt. And they, yeah, it did. <laughs> and so I say, just drop it next time. Now we're belting. We don't shame belt around here, you know what I'm saying? We're in the belt proudly. People like to shame belts. So they put the belt under the shirt, make it look like they don't actually have it on. Is this another Rocky? Uh, the training montage. <laughs> yeah! I think they're all great. Yeah, but I feel like that's just different. That's just like a different movie. Hey, it's cool that they brought Balboa back, but it's not the same. Bam, bam, bam. Set one. Sing two. It's great. Great soundtrack. Fantastic as well. There's days where I jam with that on my headphones. I ain't trolls and Kanto. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Yes. I mean, half the time, if it's playing, I'm not even really like paying that much attention to it. But sometimes they're really good, or I'll watch like bits and pieces for, I don't know, in and out of it. And so then sometimes like, man, I wonder what actually happens. <laughs> but then Laura will be like, oh, didn't you know this happened? I'm like, no. So then I'll sit down and watch it. <laughs> no mas! Probably a good old no rep. Just did it on the way up. Shoulder just didn't feel locked in from the beginning. But, that's okay. I think it just lets you see what you sometimes aren't sure. Like, when I did that, like I could feel it as soon as I caught it in the jerk. Like it just didn't feel locked in. But, I can tell that's probably from like the bench press just telling my pecs are tight so then, I look at like, okay, now I need to get worked on probably tomorrow morning, open up my shoulders and scapula a little bit more, make it feel like it can move a little bit more freely. Hi, a lot of it. I mean, I'm usually in here from 8.30 and probably by the time we're done, it'll be closer to five. Um, and then when I get home, sauna, movement work, and then play with the kids. So it's a lot, but this is the time of year I always look forward to. And I mean, you bust your butt all year round to get to this point and do all the odd training, the yoke, the strongman, the running, swimming. That's all the fun stuff, so. No, because I mean, I, I still love CrossFit and doing this stuff. At the end of the day, this is the stuff that's gonna come out in the Coliseum or something else. So you're just trying to be as prepared as possible. You gotta do all the little things. Yeah, and I, but I think that's, those are the days where you really have to test yourself and what you're capable of. Like if it's low motivation or if it's just like there's actually something else outside of that, like if you're sick or run down or getting over something, like those things are factors to count in. But if it's just your lack of motivation because it might not like feel as good, my body doesn't feel as well, like those are the days where you have to like push through because 15 events of the games, it doesn't really matter. Like, you better push through on those days. So I think those are the days when you like, 
walk away and feel good, it's a much better feeling than if everything feels crisp and great, like anybody can perform well when that's happening, but how are you doing when you're feeling like you've been beaten into the ground and still having to go? So, I mean, it's being able to take the little wins and look at that, not necessarily always the, you guys didn't see, but it went in. <laughs> Uh, but even like the other day, I think it was Saturday, we had a lot of stuff and I just felt a little tired, but then we ended up doing this super long workout and then at the end of it was like 24 ring muscle up and bar muscle ups and I ended up like hitting the best 24 muscle up time that I have in a long time and I'm like, okay, like, so it doesn't matter always, you can't base it off of feelings, you, sometimes you just gotta push through it. Rear foot elevated double front rack kettlebell split squats out of tempo. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a security blanket thing for some reason. I don't know why, I just do. I mean, it could have like no barbell and be like running and I don't know, handstand walking. I still feel like I want to tape my thumbs for some reason. I don't know why. My shoes. People started copying it. Started the whole two shoe thing back in 2011. I would wear mixed colored innovates back then. And I just thought it was different, something cool. And I had a lot of shoes at that point in time and I was like, well, let's mix it up. And so then I started doing it and then I started noticing more people did it. And then some people were like, oh, I started this. And I was like, yo, you haven't been doing class for that long. Get out of here. And then when they started doing it, I was like, whatever. We're done with it. So then I got rid of it. I was a child back then. <laughs> Little things bothered me. Yeah, it's always hard. I feel like I'm trying to keep count. I had to lose count. I have no clue how many I'm doing. I just go to, I feel like, the position. What was that a couple years ago? The double kettlebell push press in a handstand walk or row push press handstand walk combo where they like kind of come all the way down. But I feel like they're just always, sometimes just a hard standard to judge that I think they realize like it's just easier not to put it in there. Where I think it's good training, but when you have a standard that can be very gray area-ish, I think they're trying to get away from some of those. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, it's hard to have a standard that some people get away with, some people don't, it's very gray, but I understand it from the athlete's point of view. If, you're, if the judge is gonna give it to you, why not? Like. If they're counting the rep, but then when you are meeting the standard and you're still not getting it, that's when I think it gets a little frustrating. There almost needs to be like a like a laser or something. Like if it's on muscle ups, like once you hit a full lockout, like it registers your shoulder or something, beep, and then you can come down. Like <laughs> I don't know, something. Like even was that a regionals when you had the muscle up strap on the ring dips, you had to hit the top of your shoulders to that based on a lockout. I mean that was could be get sketchy on certain things, but somehow something kind of like that that it's just easier to know or like when you hit the top of a rock wall the light lights up like when you hit a top of a dip somehow it lights i don't know yeah technology can just come a long way they should be able to figure it out when they put a man on the moon it's true why is doing a muscle up so hard it's gotten better i mean i think there's just more people now that are pointing it out and i mean now you're talking a lot more money is on the line than it has been in the past and it's like this is my job so when things aren't fair across the board it affects how I perform which then affects ultimately a lot of other things than just like oh these reps didn't count. A lot of other things that can dictate that if like you got a lot of no reps and didn't go to the games. That's big. I think it's getting better but I always feel like this sport we have unless every event you're having a higher standard of a judge it's always going to be subjective. Always. Like it's in any sport. Just the nature of it with volunteers helping out which is fine but then there needs to be some more of a standard that they have to hold or I'd rather just work out I don't really like that's what I'm better at and good at let other people deal with it and figure it out like Hiller let him take it run with it go figure it out I think it's exposing a lot of things that they can improve upon and I don't think it's fair across the board I don't there's definitely favoritism and things like that that go on like I've seen videos where like things shouldn't count and the reason they're giving it to you I don't think is fair but then I've seen other people that have done perfect reps that I would assume on film and then they dock it so it just it doesn't make sense a lot of times where you have to have an unbiased person watching it but then they also have to know enough about the movements and the standard which then if you're doing that you're invested in the sport to some degree so I think it's just gonna be the nature of the beast for now come a long way my friend I don't know I guess you don't ever really think about it until you're asked those kind of questions like you stuck with your original word of not being a one-hit wonder and continuing to make it 
in the sport for a long time um, and trusting the whole process with Max of doing all the movement work, doing all the not glamorous kind of things and really like believing in that and sticking with it and then probably just not giving up and just like there's been plenty of opportunities I could have stopped or had a bad year and just kind of like let that go but I feel like something internally is driving me to a bigger reason of why I do it and what I want to accomplish and I don't feel like I'm going to stop till I get it. You know, like the first time you make it to the games is back then in 2013, it was like, okay, well, you might not ever make it back. The sport's getting better, people are getting better, there's more people getting into it. Like you just don't know if that's gonna happen or not. And you don't know with other life circumstances, other things that go on and happen and kids, all those things can play a role in that. And so you just gotta take each year for what it's worth and enjoy the whole journey, but also fight for what you wanna accomplish. The five minute AMRAP, well that's gonna get spicy. <laughs> I mean a five minute AMRAP of not being able to set two kettlebells down. If it's one, you can get away with just like controlling the pace a little bit more, but two, it's just gonna be kind of a grind. But you can rest in the front rack overhead, in the side, hang. They just can't touch the ground and the set's over. So it's gonna be more about just kind of like shutting the brain off and like not listening to the feelings and just breathe and like start with a smooth cadence and try to sustain that for as long as possible. And then you rest. And then a two minute AMRAP of wall balls. Uh, the humidity is going to play a factor in this kettlebell snatch part and just essentially ripping your hand. So I'm going to warm up and see if I want them on. And if not, then I'll go bare hand. Uh, you have one minute rest. So five minutes or AMRAP, five minute cap. And then rest one minute, AMRAP wall ball to 11 feet. completely different. I think just the impact of your shoulders and legs that more than what you think because you're really having to jump and throw it up. It definitely adds more of a twist than the traditional like 10 foot what you're comfortable with. But I think it's a good training tool. Feels great. It's like doing a double unders with drag rope or that Zeus rope and then going back to your normal jump rope. Like it just feels way easier. Nah. Yeah. I'm not kidding. That's funny. Can we get names first? My name is Boston. What's your name? In Boston. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Daxton. Daxton. And who we got over here? Rosalind. Good job. You're right. And so do you know what we're watching? Um, no. I did five minutes of kettlebell snatches with two kettlebells in each hand. Very heavy. How many do you think Dad did in five minutes? Very heavy, had to go to here, he could never set them down. How many did Dad do, starting with Boston? Um, I think maybe five or ten. Five or ten. Really? Good guess. Six. Six? Six. Six? Five. What? Five. <laughs> Rosalind, you got one? Lauren, how much do you think? I was going to say, let's do our prices right and go one dollar. What? One dollar, Bob. <laughs> Five minutes. No, you, you have a real guess, Lauren? Um, I don't really have a... Just make something up. No. We'll go, um, 73. 73. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now the music's done. I did one. Say again. I said, what was the weight? 53 Three. is the enchant. So I'm snatching Boston. Uh, Boston, that's you. That's how much you weigh. Uh, and, well, not even. You don't even weigh that much. Uh, oh, I beat both of your scores. Your <laughs> like 15 seconds. Eight. Whoa. Nine. Ten. How many took? No, you don't eat it. Hey, it was ten. I think you just stopped oh, it. I did stop for a second and then I keep going. Oh, man. What? How do it? How do I do what? This Mom. swing? Yeah. Mom's still going. Mom's, I'm the closest. Mom's gonna How be the closest. It, Daddy? This is what you talk into. Who won that no, big, yeah. big, big medal? How do it? With the belt? Oh, that's the wrestler. Oh. I've seen a lot of those. And that one looks huge. Yeah, it does look <laughs> huge. Look at that. This, this You already lost count. How many am I at? I don't. Oh, oh so, no. Boston, why don't you ask your dad some questions? Ooh. Um, I don't know how to do that yet. 
<laughs> Travis, why don't you ask him some questions? Yeah. Hmm. What's your favorite color? Blue. Good. What'd you do yesterday? Or no, two days ago. Where'd we go? Um, to the amusement park and then the hotel. Yep, and then where else? Um, we went to... Dinner. Dinner? Yeah. Me yeah. Nemo. Yeah, where is this? The aquarium. Aquarium? That's Lawson. a big word. Lawson, where'd you get that? Aquarium. Why yeah. are there snakes? Is that a shark? Because this is the year of the snakes. How long is that going on this video? Uh, I'm not even halfway. Screen started to turn black. Do you like CrossFit, Boston? Yes. Can you tell Chris what you want to do when you grow up? Like daddy. Oh. Lawson, what do you want to do when you grow up? Can I talk you into being like Matt Fraser instead? Or? <laughs> you know what? The, who is that anyway? Yeah, no, you don't need to know who that is. <laughs> He's old and washed up now. <laughs> what do you mean washed up? No, it's just a reference. Well, this cord is getting on my face. I know, I'm oh, afraid it's you're okay. gonna get it. It's alright, I got it in my hand. Yeah, it's a lot of circles. It's mine! Yeah, that was not a very good wrestling That's period. how do it. These what do you want to do? Those are wrestlers. Yeah. Those are the people that win the belts. I that big Do you want to ask Chris any questions? What do you want to ask? Uh, you think he's two? I'm <laughs> older than two. Jackson's how old do you two. think he is? I think you're about like... He's too old. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Uh, I feel like he's about like 200 years old. <laughs> 200? Wow. That's a lot of years. Lauren, what's been different about this year's CrossFit Press? <laughs> Give us a little nug about Trav. How long is uh, Daddy? Keep I feel like he's been more consistent this year with his Lots prep. Of shirt up there. Um, I feel like he's been, I mean, he always puts effort into it, but I think he's like really dedicated himself this um, this time. I would say Boston. nutrition is probably even the best Boston. this year than it ever has been. It's or Boston. Yeah. like in the way I'm moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You like when the abs poke out? <laughs> yes, and how I like when the abs poke out. Um, yeah. We should tell about what was it happened the other day. We were at the amusement Mama, park and I was Mama, holding Mama, Rosalind. Was it the amusement Mama, park? Mama, Rose yeah. Sweet Claire. And then the way I was holding her, it looked like I was flexing almost to a point. And she was like, whoa, look at that. So look, she's not Still got it. it. Still got it. <laughs> yeah, that's new. How long is dad doing this? I'm almost done. It's got to be pretty close. You didn't like I, a, I really, man, why did I even try to rest like that? That was terrible. Not very good. <laughs> what happened? Because our guesses were not I very good. I want to hold it. Lauren, do you like Lauren. watching CrossFit? I do. Um, totally like I, I don't necessarily enjoy watching Travis compete because I just feel really nervous the whole time. And it's kind of stressful. Or anyone that we know. I think it's more stressful than enjoyable. But um, watching random people... Cross that I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> She's not tied to. <laughs> See, I'm the exact opposite. Huh? Really? Uh, yeah, I can't watch people I don't know do this. Oh. I'm um, doesn't like Rogers. Yeah, it just makes me nervous. Any Mom, final was words? The closest. I got to 69 um, reps. Oh, that's pretty close. My yeah. mommy hates exercising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Hey, can y'all go pew, 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 pew? What? Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 I think that's a great way. Is that true, that's Lauren? That's a great way to end it. <laughs> Is this true, Lauren? I don't yeah. hate exercise. <laughs> yes, you do. Too. I just don't exercise. <laughs> you do not like exercise. <laughs> you do not. No, I like, I like to go for walks. You don't like exercise. <laughs> All right, can we can we confirm here that you'll do an episode of the podcast soon? Okay. Sure. Five, four, three, two, Yo.
Hate to break up the party, but we got Travis Mayer here. He was having a video with his family. That first wall ball was no good. I can tell the middle of the ball has to be over the top of the line. He's got a white chalk line right there. They usually tell you that you want to be using some sort of duct tape, something where you can tell rather clearly the chalk may fade over the course of this workout. Most of these repetitions, the ball is 100% over the line. That isn't necessary. Only the center of the ball has to be over the top of the line. So Travis Mayer, while he is wearing all black most of these uh, that one didn't look very good so he's doing a two minute am wrap of wall balls right here and while the majority of these look good he does have a handful where on the way down it doesn't look like the center of the wall ball made contact with the ball usually you want to see it kiss the top of the wall and then come on down nice and easy the other thing that he's got going here is that he's wearing all black We've talked about that. You guys thought I was freaking crazy when I brought up the fact that CrossFit is keen and onto the fact that people might be wearing all black to skew. That one was close as well. Might, eh, that one was also close as well. I haven't brought up the fact that he needs going to an 11 foot target. That's something that came, oh, that wasn't good either, Travis. So he's going to the 11 foot target. Travis Mayer, as legend says it, has done Karen 150 wall balls with the 30. A lot of these are rather close, Travis. 30 pound wall ball 150 repetitions he's done it unbroken so he is one of the better wall ballers in the sport this year in the masters online semifinal qualifier or for the crossfit games they had to do 11 foot wall balls and here we can see he is indeed doing the 11 foot wall balls squats although he is wearing all black they all that one was a no rep mr travis mayer and he is in practice and i hope that he watches this video and after having watched the video he'll go yep that was a no rep i know i just did a five minute am wrap of double kettlebell snatches this was a five minute am wrap two minute or a one minute rest into a two minute am wrap of wall balls that was a no rep mr travis mayer and i can see that clearly with my eyes the center of the ball did not get over the white tape line and i believe i also heard in the background uh cpt is you know get a little higher so he's trying to help him out travis is dying from that amrap over there other cool thing was that in the background you hear the soundtrack from short circuit you need a hero travis mayer possibly the hero going into the crossfit games will he finally make the podium one of my favorite athletes cool video with him and his kids thanks for letting me tag in and reeler out